This is Uma for Box Nation. I'm joined by the legend himself, Badu Jack. Witnessed a fantastic fight here in Riyadh, Badu. Yeah, it was a great fight. Great fight for the fans. Yeah, unbelievable. Um, yeah. Most people I've spoke to, including myself, to be honest, had bibble up at the end. How did you have it? It was a close fight. I was rooting for a better BM, so maybe I'm a little biased, but uh, it was a good fight, and I think he hurt him at the end, end of the fight. The last three rounds, he looked good, so I'm not mad at the decision. You know? to, to be honest, Team Better Be ever right behind me, so I'll just say Better Be everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, a fantastic occasion here once again in Riyadh, Badu. Yeah, it's amazing. The, this is the fight capital of, of the world now, so yeah. Do you think uh, Bivol warrants a rematch, though? Sorry? Do you think Bivol warrants a rematch off that fight? Yeah, it should be. Should be. Why not? It was a great fight. They're two great fighters. Why not? Let's do it. Both of them, their engine they, they carried throughout. I mean, they, both of them were actually getting stronger as the fight was going on. It was incredible to witness. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if Bivol got stronger, but better Bivol definitely did. But but uh, I didn't expect. I thought he uh, Bivol, uh, better Bivol was going to knock him out eventually. I don't think he could move like that for 12 rounds, but yeah. Bivol is a great fighter too. Is there an argument that Better Bivol is now pound for pound number one, number two, Badu? Maybe, maybe. He's, uh, he's up there at least. What did you think of Chris Eubank Jr. tonight? Yeah, he, uh, he looked alright, but he got my trainer now, Jonathan Banks, but they only had like three weeks, so they need more time. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to see him again. Against Conor Ben, I think, next. Yeah, that would be a great fight. Badu, appreciate your time. God bless. Thank you.